stars what's up thank you very much for stopping back by once again i really hope that you're gonna enjoy today's video so that you can keep coming back for more if you guys are hearing noise this room is kind of like very close to the road so just bear with me but in today's video we're going to be talking about how the love of my life turned out to be a freaking catfish if that's something you'd like to watch, do keep watching this video. Don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe, and become a part of the family. I'm so hungry, like I haven't eaten the whole morning, but okay, we are here, are we not? Okay, so everything started in 20. Okay, I matriculated in 2015. Everything started in about 2013. I don't get 10 11 when everything started. So it was around holiday time. It was gonna be Christmas. So it was Christmas Eve. Now it was back in those Facebook days. Like if you're around my age and you were, I don't know, like a Papila kid, you know that Facebook used to be the age. Facebook used to be the main app. Like so I was on that Facebook tip, that Philip ish Niana tip. Like I was that girl. So I was on my Facebook. Um and I get a, um, a, um, what's this? A friend request. Yeah, it's called a friend request. I get a friend request. It's this cute ass profile. Now, obviously, I click on the profile before accepting the friend request to see, see who's this guy? Who are you? I mean, like, I don't know if I'm the only one who does that, but I know I still do that now. Like, I will not accept you until I have scanned and seen if it is worth me clicking that accept button. So, I click, I scan, I'm like, except follow back, same time. I send him a friend request, um, back, and then, okay, sure, we become friends. Um, like, okay, so I, I, it was in the morning, so during the day, we liking each other's voices, like, he's liking, you're going to move to I forget to like how it's on the room, trend, and you're just like, it's, it's like Dala, it's like Dala, I'm just like, oh, so you stalking me. So it was that vibe, like he likes freaking, and I'm like, this guy is freaking ass cute. So I like, I like his pictures back, so I'm like, Lala, I'm Lala, I'm Lala. And so he's liked all my pictures on Facebook, and I go on and I like a couple of his pictures. Get a, it's not a DM, it's, it's an, it's an inbox. Yeah, I think it was called an inbox. I get an inbox, um, and he's like, hey, and I'm like, hi. And so the most shocking thing about this guy was the fact that he had so many people that I knew as his um, friends. So we had so many mutual friends, like people that I knew in person. And I'm just like, how are you friends with this person? And I don't know you. How, how do you have so many of my friends? Like we have so many mutual friends and I don't know you and I've never heard about you. Like I don't know shit about you. Johnny, Johnny. And I was that kid who was very sporty, who was very... Like out there, like I would attend those party in the park, those if ink, those good Sunday. Like if you are a Durbanite and you were a like a papilla kid, you know these events. So I was that girl. So I'm just like, I play a lot of sports. Like I go to different schools. I attend so many matches at different schools. I know Durban cool kids. I know them. At that time, I'm, I'm, yeah, now guys, yeah, I'm just very introverted. But at that time, I'm just like, how do I not know you, Johnny? This time we're talking and he's like, no, um, I live in Joburg, but I'm going to be soon moving down. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys the, the guy's name. His name is, um, at, his name at that time was Melusi Kumalo. So I had a friend request. I had gotten a friend request from a guy called Melusi Kumalo, super cute guy. I'm talking about like super dripping as guy i'm talking about you know those guys who dress well those guys who have cars with some nine those cute ass ombos with a rich kid like if profile i can see i look we phone or see a rich kid so he was that kind of cute guy and that was that kind of i like things kids kid Okay, so we in our uh, our Facebook Messenger now, and we're talking back and forth, and it's like, no, I'm from Joburg, um, but I'm going to be moving down to Durban because my mom is relocating um, for her new job. And I'm like, and yeah, and it was like, it, yeah, I think it's, it was like December, and it's like the following year, which is like, like next month, he's moving to Durban. And I'm like, okay, boo. <sighs> Did we not take it to WhatsApp? 
The next thing we're talking on WhatsApp. The next thing we're dating. Fast forward, we're dating. Mind you, I had a boyfriend at that time. Did I not dump the poor guy to be with Melissa Kumalo? Did I not leave his ass to be with my newly found perfect rich boyfriend? <sighs> I dump the current boyfriend we dating. Guys, I'm talking proper dating. Like we were on Facebook and back in those days, it was those, it was during those pick mix days. Like he would take my pictures and his pictures pick mix together and post on facebook and we had even a facebook relationships like we were the it couple like people knew people started referring to me as melusi's girlfriend like everywhere i would go i would refer to as melusi's girlfriend because you see, we were that couple you know when you'll start getting comments even from strangers that oh my gosh you guys are such a cute couple it is that type of vibe like he would comment on every single one of my pictures we would have a conversation under a picture like i love you like um you didn't okay so fast forward he moves to Durban. Obey um, claimed that he goes to New Forest High School. Now, where I went to, my school and New Forest were like this. We always used to play matches against each other. And I played netball. So this one time, um, the first attempt we had planned to meet out was when I had a game at New Forest. And I told him that, yo, babe, I have a match. I remember the match was going to be on a Thursday at 3 p.m. And he's like, okay, I'm going to wait for you. I'm not going to go home. Mind you, he has a car. Uh, he was in, I was in grade 10. He was about in grade 11. So he was older than me. So, um, yeah. So at this point of our relationship, we are so into each other. Like, I talk to him all the time. Like, he calls me all the damn time. Oh, how do I forget? And I also talk to his mom. Imagine, you are freaking white, 15 years old, you're already talking to the mother. But at that time, I didn't see it like that. At that time, I was like, oh my God, I'm talking to Blaze's mom. I'm talking to his mother. I'm talking to his, his sisters. So every time we, when we were on the call, he would be like, oh, mom wants to say something. Mom wants to say hi, whatever. whatever. And he would give me the phone. He would give her the phone and then we would talk. Guys, it was a mature woman's voice. It was not even a matter of different voices. No, I could hear that he, the mother is speaking and him and his two sisters are talking in the background. So, oh, um, okay, are we going to call the sisters Ulondi no Akon? So, oh, because I don't want to mention people's names. So, oh, okay, Ulondi no Akon, but no Makoti. Can you imagine you are 15 years old and people are already referring to you as Makoti? Thinking about it now, it's like, what kind of a mother is this? Like, I should have known, I should have seen red flags that. There's no black parent who does that. Black? Nah, boo. Nah. But at that time, it was all cute. It was all, oh my gosh. So I didn't see anything. So that was what um, the level of our relationship was at. Um, I remember it was Monday. And we started um, talking about, oh my gosh, I can't wait to hug you. I can't wait to kiss you. I can't wait to kiss you. I can't wait to see you on Thursday. I can't wait. Hi, boo. My friends. I'm like, oh my gosh, we can't wait to meet my Lucy. Shall I just stay? I can't wait to see you, babe. I love you. Don't do. Shall I wanna stay? Oh my gosh, babe, I'm seeing you tomorrow. Like, uh, <laughs> shall I stay? I remember the game was at three o'clock. So um, around my school, what would happen is we would leave earlier because we would have New Forest was like a school that we play with a lot. So what would happen is there would be netball matches, there'd be hockey matches, there'd be rapid matches at the same day. So it would be under fifteen, under fourteen, under sixteen. First team, second team playing for netball, for hockey, for rugby. So we were there for like the entire afternoon because all these teams had to play. So you, you know, it was it was like a it was big matches. So like a lot of my school would be going over there to play their match. So okay, so now it's like like two o'clock. Now it was a big flex leaving class so that you can go play a game. So that whole time, so I'm waiting for my big flex. Then I'm going to show too. So all those people that are going to be leaving for New Forest, you know, the intercom comes in. People that are going to be leaving for New Forest, please make your way to the parking lot. The school bus is waiting. I'm okay. It's not even about the game. Today is about me meeting my man. So that's what it was about. Okay, um, mind you, at my school, we were allowed to carry phones. So during the day, I'm texting him. We texting that, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see you. Come to the stairs, finally here. You're so perfect. I love you so much. What a, what a. Away in the bus, 
babe i love you yes i'm waiting for you i'm by the gate he says that i'm like no oh, okay sure guys if you get if you get you pass a month clear if you think i'm going to put it but you first i'm like oh my gosh my heart is beating fast i don't know what to do like i'm getting butterflies i'm sweating and it's like put me in the school open marks in the pool school and all the kids are there like oh my gosh my boyfriend is somewhere there like all my friends like see i'm a pega hey like we're literally looking what am i gonna be new 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 bag but it was that vibe like all my girls are like searching and i'm there like guys you're born guys you're born so hey yes come on so guys i'm full of vela i'm um okay so we jump off the bus all the new forest guys are there they're busy checking us out all my friends are not even interested in being checked out we look literally clazering and he's literally text to me that he's by the gates we enter by the gates, there's guys there, we're busy looking at them, they're looking at us, and there's no sign of my man. There's no sign of my Lucy Kumalo. I text him, I'm like, I just went through the gate, I can't see you. Humble to call. While I'm still waiting, we'll come to come out and he reads my message, my coach is like, okay girls, change. Wada wada, we need to warm up, we need to do what we're here for. So I'm busy changing, and I'm busy like looking, I'm busy changing, I'm busy like looking. I finish changing, I check my phone, still one tick. I'm like, no, it's probably network. It's probably like, I don't know, his battery died, but he knows where he, his school's netball court is. So he's definitely, he knows where to find me. You know, he, he's gonna come. He's probably just, Jay, he knows. Lapo, all the kids that's in your forest, all the boys are making their way down to the court to watch the girls play. You know, everything is, you know, guys from my school, Jay, the game is here. You know, everyone is watching netball, hockey, everything's happening in sort of one area. So you choose where you wanna watch. So we warm up, we warm up, and it was time for the game. We get into positions. I'm like, guys, it was like the longest game of my life because I'm just like, my heart is not here. Like, I'm busy looking for my boyfriend. So I play the game, play the game, play the game. Half time, I, I, the first thing I do, I didn't even drink water. That half time, I didn't drink water. I, I didn't do jack. I, I literally went to my phone. Man, bigger. One tick. Man, Alaza. No sign of a guy. Okay, hey, half time ends, we play the game, we finish the game. Um, no sign of him at all. Um, I was there from like three o'clock to like seven because as I explained, there was a lot of matches happening. So we had to wait for the rugby team, the first team rugby team, and every other match to finish before we head back to school. So I finished the game and spent probably another like three hours and there was still no sign of him. And obviously I was upset, crying, wada wada, and yeah, I got over it. Um, I get home, it's like like half past eight ish i get a text baby i'm sorry i had to rush home i'm like so you couldn't see me for like two minutes and then rush home because we were texting at two o'clock and you knew i was on my way you couldn't tell me that you had to rush home you only telling me now that there was a lot I dumped the guy. I'm like, dude, hey, bruh, I'm just cut the domain. I dumped the guy. Did his mom not call me? And I was like, um, my God, isn't it? Imagine, you're 15, switch on the Bambi San. I was like, I'm going to go to the Bambi San. I'm going to go to the Bambi San. I'm going to go to the Bambi San. I'm like, yeah, but ma. Obviously, I was like, yeah. But, it, but now, I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, this thing was fishy from the get go. No black mother would ever say that. Nifunu Bambisa, really at the age of 15? Please. Okay. So he talks me back in. We end up, we get back together. That thing ends. Sure. The second time we had attempted to meet was at Good Sunday. It was the All White Good Sunday. I had blue braids on, a white short on, looking all cute. Guys. I used to talk to this guy every single time when I wanted to talk to him. He would, obviously video calls were not a thing back then. So I never wanted to ask, to, I, I don't even think WhatsApp had the feature to video call. So it was just not a thing. But we would always talk on the phone. Like I would call him at like 2 a.m. He would call me any time of the day, like, like all the time. He would be literally, it got to a point where it was literally, he was literally the only guy I was talking to. That's how close we were. That's how... It was that type of relationship. Okay, fast forward. We want to meet again at Good Sunday. He's like, babe, I promise you I'm going to be there. I'm like, okay, sure. I can't wait to see you. Good Sunday comes. I'm there. Like, obviously, I'm a Durbanite. So I know a lot of people from Durban. And the event is happening at Durban. Like, 
you know so um throughout the whole night i get there like 9 p.m it's like really people are hugging and kissing and snapping good night yeah, i'm greeting a lot of people you know and i'm like like half past nine going to ten i'm like okay if you guys are hearing noise i yeah yeah eat the window yeah half past nine i start texting him i'm like op when do you plan to come and he's like no babe i'm coming i just have to get a few things but i'm coming i'm like okay sure like you you know the party hasn't really started if it's like still elanyana like so i'm like no okay no no he's still coming the next thing i bump into two girls and they see me first and they're like oh my gosh and i'm like hi then they're like we are going to come on over and i'm like ka it's so like, oh, you know, I'm like, oh, hi. They're like, oh, I'm trying to squeeze her. I'm like, mm. so now we're hugging. It's, oh my God, she's so pretty. Oh, it's nice to finally meet you. Yada, yada. And I'm like, oh, thank you. You guys are so pretty too. Squeeze her. <laughs> At this point, I'm just like convinced my boyfriend is coming. So obviously I asked them, um, where is Malusi? And they're like, oh no, he just dropped us off with his friends and they just went to go get a few drinks. We are boy. I'm like, okay. Like, my heart is so happy. Like, I'm sure that he is definitely coming. I mean, I just saw his sisters. Um, I had went to the events with my cousin. So my cousin and I are having a lot of fun and she's busy asking me, oh, I'm like, no, no, oh yes, oh yes. Like, I just met his sisters and stuff. The next thing, I get a call from him and he's like, how am I going to come to you? It's like, an, now it's like 10, going to half past 10. Like, I'm at the point, I've been waiting, you know? And he's like, how, oh, oh, and I'm texting him, and he doesn't reply with the text, and instead he calls me. And he's like, how am I supposed to come to you? The whole time, you're taking snaps with guys, and you're just everywhere. How am I supposed to come to you? Yes, you're my girlfriend. And I'm like, excuse me? What do you mean? And he's like, "Upi, zapo fetu, wakala na ba fan na ni ashuta, minang figure la pungi tini yego nupi zina ma tuta ako." I'm like, "Brega, brega." I'm from Durban. These are my friends. Some I went to primary school with. Like, if you were here, if anything, none of this would be happening. Like, these are just my people. It's people I know. I'm not gonna, gonna ignore people just because I'm waiting for you. No, no, we'll see, how do you know this? And it's like, no, um, I'm going to sleep. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. At this point, I'm so upset. And I'm just like, okay, can you just get here? And then we're going to talk about it when you're here. But I'm not dating anyone else who's here. It's, it's just you. I'm just literally waiting for you. Uh, and he's like, um, uh, I'm not going to come with you. I'm like, okay, where do you want me to go? And he's like, I don't know, but I'm not fan. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go by the bathroom and you're going to meet me there. Please come. Now, the event was happening this side and the bathroom was like sort of the other side. So it was like isolated so a lot of people with this side and not that side i'm like okay i'm gonna go it's empty um please just come because i just i didn't wanna i just wanted him to be there like i was done waiting for him hi bo guys i'm free bathroom standing alone shower five minutes no guy 10 minutes no guy 30 minutes no guy and i'm just like i'm not about to do this at this point i'm so sad like i want to cry and stuff like my eyes are tearing because i'm just like guys it's like all living man a party it's a room. I think of this because I figures to live in the family. I didn't have to go 12, you know. And I'm just so upset at this point. I go to my cousin and I tell her that I tell her what's happening and that he's not there. He calls me, he texts me this time and he's like, um, I was about to come. Oh, I had left the isolated area and I had gone back to the party. And I was like, Oh, I'm about to come. I was about to come, but it's never fun. Um, how am i supposed to take you seriously and all that stuff and i'm just like dude just get here or leave me alone show 12 for no guy at this point i can't even see his sisters and he keeps telling me he's coming i can't see his sisters and eventually i just stopped texting him i'm just like eat hey, whatever one o'clock we decide to go home no sign of felicity Kamalo. once again he drops me i get home i cry about it it's like i'm so upset what about it what about it yeah so i sleep i wake up the next morning to freaking 50 missed calls and long as paragraphs i'm so sorry i got too drunk and i didn't want to tell you i'm drunk i didn't want you to see me like this you know those lousy stupid excuses and i'm just like okay sorry okay you guys so i had to sh change um my shooting venues the lighting here is not that great good day okay. we move after good sunday happens um basically the same thing happens 
I break up with him and then he his mother talks to me two weeks later we back together like this now is like six months into our relationship six months eight months into our relationship uh, we basically getting closer and closer and closer and closer like we are okay so then the third time we had tried to meet up was when we had agreed to go to Musgrave um, for a movie we had planned to meet at two o'clock um, I get there at like half past one and I text them, babe, um, I'm here now. I'm just waiting for you and he's like, okay, I won't let you down this time. I promise you I'm coming. Um, I'm on my way. I'm just still stuck on traffic. And he sends me, you know, when somebody's driving and they just take a picture and there was traffic, I could see through the windscreen. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay, sure. But, in, but he's like, I'm on my way. I'm like, sure. Should I turn to? I'm like, how's the traffic looking? He's like, no, it's moving. Gangani. But I promise you I'm coming. I'm like, oh, okay. For some reason, every time I had to meet him, I was hopeful that he's going to pitch up. Because we didn't try and meet up consecutively like this week and this week and this week. Like we'd try and meet up for like this month. And then we'd take a month of not trying to meet up. During the month of not trying, we'd grow even closer. You know, the promises would be, the conversations would grow. Everything would just grow. So every time I trusted him a bit more than I did before. So that's why I always fell for, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So he tells me that he's coming, um, yeah, whatever. Like, half post two, I'm like, hey, bruh, now I'm starting to lose my hope again. I'm like, hey, bruh, you've done this before, Zatine, we have done my words. He's like, no, baby, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Now, guys, I, my, my home is very strict. Like, my parents are very strict. I never could just go out for a, for a movie with a friend. Because like, I had a curfew, and six o'clock was, I had to be indoors. Food now, corner six is pushing it. But six, I definitely had to be indoors. So I'm just like, dude, I can't just, I need to be at home at a certain time. So if now you're not going to stick to two o'clock, like, so by now, get minutes together. I was like, no, baby, I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't panic. I'm coming. Just wait for me. Don't leave. I'm like, okay, show two, show three, show four. And uh, that's a window shop. It was a pale window shop. A window shop. I'm just like, he plays me again. I was just so defeated. That was my last straw. I was just like so defeated. Like I couldn't, I couldn't believe that he's not coming. Now I text him, like I got half four, half past four. I text him to come to court. I'm just like, okay, I know how this ends. He's not gonna come. I wait there up until like five o'clock and I'm just like, okay, it's time for me to bounce. Now he's not answering my calls, voicemail, to come with to call order. Jay, it's a way to get you know it. Now I, and I know how the drill goes. So I eventually go home. Obviously I'm upset. I get home. I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm never doing this again. I'm never talking to him and I fall and drink it out. I fall I call his thing I pay and he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You know, like he calls me, he's like, baby, you shouldn't have left or stuck in traffic. Um, eight. I just got to Musgrave and you're not here. I'm like, are you stupid? So you really think I'm still going to be there? And he's like, no, you shouldn't have left. I was going to take you home. I'm like, dude, I have a curfew and you know this. What do you mean I shouldn't have left? He's like, okay, sometimes you're like, I'm just like, hey, bruh, leave me alone. Like, I'm done. I am done. Referee. During this time, um, a friend of mine had just started Instagram. So she starts Instagram and she comes to me and she's like, dude, your boyfriend. There's someone who completely looks like your boyfriend. Like all your boyfriend's pictures are in this person's profile. What's going on? And I'm like, and he doesn't go by your boyfriend's name, which is Melissa Kamalo. I'm like, obviously I downloaded Instagram and I stalked this guy. That's how I got into Instagram, actually. I downloaded Instagram and I stalked this guy. Nang Bella, it was a guy called Tepo, Tepo something. It's it's not a Zulu surname. And he was from Joburg. And he has every picture of Melusi Kumal. Even that driving picture. Every picture he has sent me. Every picture on Facebook. Every picture is there. And I'm like... And he has... This guy has videos of him talking. And he doesn't sound anything like my Melusi. And I'm... So at this point, I had figured out that it's not him. And everything started making sense with it. That's why I had never met him because it's not him. But then again, I still had confusion. But I'm talking to his sisters, his mothers. So you're trying to tell me that a grown ass woman would be invested in this. Their sisters, like so many people were invested in this catfish. You know, so at this time, nothing was clear, but I knew that it wasn't him. So I go to him, I confront him, I'm like, yo, Zatin, what's happening? And he's like, no, I'm sorry. Yes, it's not me. 
I'm really, really sorry. It's just that I didn't think a girl so pretty like you would go for for somebody like me. I'm like, okay, what do you look like? Show me what you look like. And he sends me a picture. And it, it still, it you know, it, it was a guy. Not as cute as Malus Kumalo, but still not as bad for somebody. The catfish, like it was a proper dark skin, big eyes, big lips, cute guy. Like it's, it's not a person, oh, a catfish. And I'm just like, but why would you catfish? It's like, no, because I'm like, no, but it's not like this. It's not like your lips are like this. Like, why would you catfish? Like, are you because you did see catfish a person who would look like this? And yeah, that was his last year's years. And then he also confessed that his name is not Melissa Kwaler. I'm like, I, I probably saw that coming too. Uh, my name is Katleho Mutsau. Uh, I'm like, Hey, bro and obviously he begs me that he loves me and at this point I loved him hence why my title is the love of my life because honestly at that point in my life that entire year and a half I believed that he was it like we gelled so much like so freaking much that guy was my best friend like yo we gelled so much that guy was my best friend okay so I I forgive him, I guess, with the whole Katleko Mutsao. Now he changes his profile to Katleko Mutsao. And he takes down every single picture of Melissa Kamalo and he replaced them with Katleko Mutsao. Now the tricky part was everyone fell for it. Like everyone was so casual about it. I don't know if we were all dumb or what. But everybody started going with the flow. All of a sudden he was Katleko Mutsao and everybody was okay with him being Katleko Mutsao. Like it was, it was almost like shh, shh. And everybody on Facebook was okay with it. Every friend, every mutual friend, which was the strange part. So like, Johnny, this guy even had guy friends, like guy friends that were active on his social media. Guy friends that I know in person, like that I know was oh, I know, I knew them. So it was like strange. Like, does he exist? Doesn't he exist? If he didn't exist, how does he know all these people? These people are so active on his profile. I don't know how he managed to make so many real people active on his profile. Uh, at this point, okay, he's Melissa, he's Kitlecho um, yeah, and he wanted to be in a Facebook, I'm like, hey, brah, no more Facebook relationships, it can't go to for three months, I'm with Melissa Kumalo, the next thing, I'm with Kitlecho Mutsau, no, I, I, so we cut the whole in a relationship Facebook thing, and that was the end of that, we carry on dating, we carry on attempting to meet, he doesn't show up, but like, I'm just telling you guys about the points where I physically got to an address and he didn't show up, here's the strange thing, that guy knew every, every ever since he transitioned from Melusi Kumara to Getlecho Mutao, he started knowing everything about me. Like, kid you not. I kid you not. He knew where I was, where I wa who I was with, what I was wearing. I had cases where I could I could be in town, I could be in Gateway, he'd be like, Ufuna Nenda with Tizum Jilang. I'm like, how do you know I'm here? Like he would I remember this one time when I said a potato workshop and it's like, oh, I just saw you at a Bettina workshop. In my head, I'm like, if you see me, why aren't you coming to me? I'm like, Gifunani. It's like, yeah. I'm like, and you said, and there was no sign of somebody who's looking at me, but he knew. Of. And then every time I would heat up the conversation, the arguments was, no, I want to see you. If you hear, he would just hang up on me. When I call him back, it's off. So we played that game. We played that game so much that I started being cautious. I started. Being in public and trying to figure out a face and eyes that are staring at me and I'd never like guys I could be out at my mom. I could be doing grocery shopping in gateway. As I'm just oh boom boom I'm I'm like, excuse me. And I didn't even take a picture and pause, like, uh and it's like, yeah, I saw you going low, kunalo. I'm like But it's funny how at that point it never freaked me out as much as it's freaking me out now. I don't know. I think everything happened at a point where I was young and naive. Like I don't I was never freaked out because if I was you know, if I, I, if something like that had to happen now, I'd report it. I'd leave. I would, I would, I would stop talking to him. But it was so casual. It would be like, ah, you should have came to me. And then I'd carry on talking to him. So I don't know how my brain functioned. But that was the case. For so long, like for so long, he knew where I was with who, he, he, you know. Which for me is the freakiest part about this entire story. Okay. This other time I bump into, I remember Gangiga, um, Mr. Price at, Broadwalk in town. If you a Durbanite, you know Broadwalk. Uh, I was in Broadwalk in town, and I bump into one of the sisters. Um, I didn't want to even read her, but I, I saw her and I looked away. And the second time our eyes met, she saw me too. So she kind of came up to me and she's like, "Hi, 
I'm just like, what's up? At this point, I'm getting over the guy barely because I never see him. Like, it's I, I say hype, but footy, we still dating. And he's like, hi. I'm like, hi. She's like, what's up? I'm like, I'm good. Um, he's like, oh, you look so pretty. I'm like, hmm, you look so pretty too. Uh, he's like, oh, I'm gonna, uh, uh, oh, and then I la I'm like, how? Oh, bukatiyah. And then she's like, uh, ukatiyah kose kuli. But Uzoboya, mom sent him for something. I'm like, sure. In my head, I'm like, how do you instantly know I'm talking about Katlejo? Because the last time that we met at Good Sunday, we were talking about Amalusi. Now the sudden shift, and you don't even act, sh you don't, you instantly just click and know who I'm talking about. But then again, if he was catfishing me and involved his family, they probably know too. So it kind of made sense that she knows, but for the way she just calmly reacted and so casually, it was like, there's a deeper thing that's happening here that I don't know about. Like she jumped in, she just knew who Katlejo was. She didn't even, like she knew, like, um, that happens, we hug, whatever, and we leave. And she tells, and the guy tells me, when I get her, Katlejo tells me, oh, Lundi, I'm like, yeah, that's what happened. Fast forward to now it's about a year into the relationship like a year and I've never met him like we on to the, our second year now I get a DM now I'm into Instagram Facebook I've left it Nje. I'm into I'm slowly transitioning to Instagram I get a text I get a DM from a girl she's actually like a real proper girl I wanted to bring her here so that we can share the story with you but I'm just like uh we're not that close like we just know each other like we we cool but we're not friends so it was like ah maybe it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of awkward if plus it's locked down so i couldn't find her anyway so she texts me she's like are you still she goes to uk today and she's like a proper person she's so cute and she texts me and she's like um are you still dating Katleho? i'm like yeah why and she's like oh because i'm dating him too i'm like oh okay then she's like but that's not why i'm texting you I'm testing you to ask you if you've met him before. Can I have your number on WhatsApp? Then we can talk. Fasty, I give her my number. And then we start talking on WhatsApp. Then she's like, have you met him? I'm like, no, I haven't met him. Um, every time I want to meet, he never shows up. And, like, and she's like, oh my gosh, that's the exact same thing that happens to me. Like, we plan to meet and he says he's coming and he never shows up. And the next thing I was on telephone in. I basically discovered that what was happening to me was the exact same thing that was happening to her. She was being called Magoti. She was talking to the sisters and the mother. He would call her like all the time, like all the time. And he knew where she was, what she was wearing, when, which was like the freakiest part that at the same time, he had us here. Like he knew everything about us. Which is the uh, yo, which is like very strange. You see, Njani, like Njani. Okay, so then the girl was also friends with one of his friends, and this guy is a real person, but I'm just gonna call him Sean just to protect everyone's name. So this girl was talking to Sean about this guy with her book guys. Like, I don't know if I told you, but the sisters are real people. Like, the sisters went to Waybank Secondary. Like, we knew the sisters. He had introduced the sisters to me that it's Londi in a corner, they go to Waybank, but I go to New Forest. So the sisters, we would see each other in events, like in Jungle Bank, we've bumped into each other multiple times. So they were real people. And they were pretty girls, like, ugh, you know, like nothing ever added up. Again, so this girl had been talking to, the second girlfriend had been talking to Sean. So then Sean had told the second girlfriend that, yo, I couldn't do a Katleho, bra. We went to his address, like, there's no, there's no Katleho, this is not a Mutao house. And I think that's when everything clicked to it. Yeah, this guy, nah. And so I was, and the girl told me, and obviously I confronted him. What's the dude? Who are you? You're not the guy in the pictures. You're not the guy in the pictures that you sent me the first time. What's going on? Who are you? And then obviously she was also confronting him. And we, I had taken it to social media. Like I had detached myself from him with, yo, guys, I'm not with this guy anymore. Like I don't know shit. Like, and when we started confronting him, he started pulling away. He was less active on WhatsApp. He was less active on um, Facebook. He called less. And we basically just grew apart. Like our conversations just grew apart i got over it i stopped talking to him he's eventually stopped trying and then he would like like call me once a week i miss you i love you i'm sorry one day i'm gonna explain i'm like dude don't freaking call me ever again fast forward okay that's how things ended fast forward to when i was in first year in 2018 i meet my friend Nondu. 
when Undu used to go to Waybank Secondary. So she, so she knows the girls. Like, she knows the girls. Like, personally. Uh, she had taken a picture with me and posted it. And then one of the sisters had asked her if she knows me. And she's like, yeah, she's my friend. And she asks me, do you know them? I'm like, I know them because I once dated their brother. And she's like, oh, they asked about you. And I said, we friends. And it all of a sudden just clicked. Uti. It could have been them this entire time. Sean, the girlfriend's friend, had said, Uti, are these girls? There's no guy that exists in this thing. It's them. But I never really believed them because he's, Katleho's voice was a real male's voice. And then he would literally give the other people the phone. So it was, everything was just sketchy. Like nothing made sense. But fast forward, when Nundu said that, I'm like, bro, the only real people that exist in this story is them. The people that we've met physically is them. There's, n there's never been a trace of Katleho. There's never been a physicality of him. It was just always an artificial person created. So that's when everything clicked. Actually, I don't have any confidence confession from them i don't have any confession from them or anything in my part i need to yeah it was them but they're the only people that make sense they're the only people in the story that make sense so i just concluded that actually it was them that catfished me for what i don't know because i feel like they're pretty girls they pretty girls like i'm sure they get all the, the attention they were not bored why would they catfish why me what were they hoping to get you know it was just it's, it's a whole lot that i still have unanswered today but i also know i don't want the answers like um, i'm okay I, I it's whatever um it honestly is whatever and i'm so thankful that everything that happened happened and i everything did happen but i was never really affected negatively because looking at the fact that whoever was doing this knew where i was when what i was wearing with who is freaking dangerous on its own and considering how naive i was and how much i liked this person i could have been any way he wanted me to be i could have done anything that he wanted me to do so i'm just thankful that it happened but nothing really really happened um so yeah that's basically my catfish story on how the love of my life turned out to be a catfish but yeah it's it's i don't even hate them i don't hate the girls it's We've ne I've never talked to them about it, um, and I don't want to. It's, yeah, it's done, man. It's it's whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any catfish story, if you have been catfished or have catfished someone, I would love to hear from you. Please drop it down below. But for now, thank you very much for stopping back by. I really hope that you will be back next time. You definitely are a star. I love you. Mwah.